Hi, I'm Rocco Steno and welcome to Storymakers. You know, some people have said that Storymakers is going to the dogs, but it isn't. Today we're going to the cats. We're actually going to visit with Alley Cat and its creator, Allison Bork. Welcome Alley Cat and welcome Alley. Hello, thank you so much for having us. It is my pleasure. And uh, so, Ali, we know that uh, Ali Cat uh, can only answer yes and no questions. So you're going to be doing most of the talking today. So, Ali, can you tell us how Ali Cat came to be? Ali Cat came to be when I wanted more books for my children's bookshelf, and so. They wanted more books, I wanted more books, and so I simply told them that I would write them a story. So I tucked them into bed after reading another story, went downstairs and started writing. And the story just came out on paper, and that was the first book of the series, Alley Cat and a Thursday Dessert Day. And the character was created as a, kind of like a reference to when I was growing up. And so I used to daydream a lot, and in class my teachers would would snap at me sometimes because I would be off daydreaming and so they would say, Alley Cat, come back down to Earth. And so that's how the name Alley Cat came to be in the story. How many books are in the series right now, Allie? There are four books in the series. Alley Cat and the Thursday Dessert Day is the first book. Alley Cat and the Monday Blues is the second book. Alley Cat and the Friendship Friday, third. And the fourth book is Alley Cat and the Tournament Tuesday. So tell us about the fourth book, Tournament Tuesday. Tournament Tuesday is based off of my son and his love for golf. So he is nine years old and loves to play golf. And so he plays all around the world. Well, in the story, Alley Cat is in charge of bringing his lucky golf ball. And everybody knows, including Alley Cat, that he doesn't need luck. He just needs to rely on his practice and hard work. And so, she mistakenly picks up the wrong golf ball and brings it to the tournament. But instead of telling him the truth, she actually draws a lucky star on the ball to make it look like his lucky golf ball. So he discovers after it goes in a puddle of water that this is not his lucky golf ball. And so he has to change his mindset and learn that he needs to rely on his practice and hard work and determination to try to win the tournament. So, Alley Cat, do you enjoy being a character in a book? I bet you do. And you're in four books. And do you have any one book that's your favorite story? What did she whisper in your ear? Her favorite story is Alley Cat and the Friendship Friday because it's yellow. Oh, because it's yellow. Is yellow your favorite color, Alley Cat? Aha, uh -huh. how did I guess that? Maybe I can guess a few other things about Alley Cat. Kidlit TV is based here in New York City and there is a place called Broadway where they put on shows and then the shows travel around the country. Some of them are musicals. And I bet Alley Cat has a favorite musical. So Alley Cat is your favorite musical, Cats. Aha, I got it, yes. Next question. Is it safe for Alley Cat to be around a gold fish bowl. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let me see if I can guess your favorite folk tale, Puss and Boots. Ah, yes, I'm batting a thousand. And my last question, my last question. Do you like dogs? Nah, I bet. Ali, can you tell me more about Ali Cat's favorite book, Friendship Friday? Yes, Ali Cat and Friendship Friday is about Ali Cat 
welcoming a new student in the class. So Phoebe is a new student in the class and she is actually based off of our new rescue cat that we have here. So when there's a new student in the class, our cat feels left out because everybody wants to sit with the new student on the bus. And so our cat's left out and she must find a way to be able to include everyone and to just add to her circle and group of friends by being inclusive. So in the back of Friendship Friday, there's an activity that our viewers would probably find uh, lots of fun to do. So, Allie, can you tell us about the activity? Yes, yeah, so in the back of Allie Cat and the Friendship Friday, there's a little activity to do the Friendship Friday bracelet. And it's super easy. All you need are paper clips, tape, like washi tape, something that's easy to write on. You get some markers and color on it and some charms. And so it's really simple to put together. You just need to put together the little paper clips like this. That looks easy. And then you take some washi tape. I like to use colorful tape. And you wrap it around the paper clip. And it decorates your, your bracelet. Okay, and then you connect it and then you wear it as a bracelet. And it's really fun to put charms on it and give it to a friend. So if you have a friend who's maybe good at soccer or dancing, you could put a, a little soccer ball or maybe ballet slipper charm and give it to that friend or mail it to a friend. And it's really special. That friend will know that you think they're special because they are good and talented and they have that special something. That looks like a fun activity. I'm sure our viewers will really enjoy making their own friendship bracelet. And guys, if you want to send me a friendship bracelet, I'd love to have one. So you could send it uh, to me at Hitler TV. You know, that alley cat, you're such a busy, busy cat. You know, and one of the things I know that she likes to do is dance. I like to dance too. I've tap danced on Kidlit TV and I've done some other ballet. I've done ballet on Kidlit TV. So, Allie, can you tell us about Allie's favorite dance? So, Allie Cat has a favorite dance called the Allie Cat Shuffle. And so, this song was created by Allie Cat and I, and it can be found on YouTube and iTunes, and it's basically just an eight-count move, like a blind dance, and you can do it at home. Okay, so let's do the Alley Cat Show. Put your paws in the air, whip your tail in the back, move side to side, shake it like that, Alley Cat. Meow. Alley Cat. Meow. Put your paws in the air, whip your tail in the back, move side to side, shake it like that, Alley Cat. Meow. Alley Cat. In a class on the street, don't miss a beat. Alley Cat is here to get you on your feet. Alley Cat. Meow. Alley Cat. Meow. In a class on the street, don't miss a beat. Alley Cat is here to get you on your feet. Alley Cat. Meow. Alley Cat. Meow. You mentioned earlier, Alley, that Tournament Tuesday is based on your son who enjoys golfing. And, uh, and you said he golfs around the world, is that correct? He actually plays for U.S. Kids Golf, and he plays in world tournaments. And so our last tournament that he played in was in uh, North Carolina, and he played against players from around the world. Brazil, Portugal, China, from everywhere. Oh, that is interesting. I did not know that there was a, uh, a children's uh, league, golf league, an international children's golf league. That, that's terrific. And Allie, you've created some great materials uh, related to the book that people can use in the classroom. Can you show us what you created? We created these quiet signs that I bring to my author visits. So quiet signs are used in golf tournaments. The officials will hold them up when the players are about to take their, their next shot. And so when they hold it up, it makes sure that the crowd is quiet so the golfer can concentrate. And so I bring these to my author visits and I give them as book swag for the librarians and the teachers to have their own. So it's an Alicat quiet sign. It says, quiet, please. And 
so when you're about to do a story time, you can hold it up and have the class be quiet. I want to see how well these work. So I'm going to make lots of noise and I'm going to keep talking and I want you to, and uh, uh, it works. How do you like that? So is there any other Alley Cat uh, material that you uh, would like to share with us? Yes, so when I do my author visits, I always bring these cute little Alley Cat blocks to leave in the library. It's always time to read. And so the students, they'll either receive this little cat tail, like Alley Cat that they can clip on, or bookmarks, because everybody loves bookmarks to have. Okay, it was so much fun meeting you, Allie, but Allie Cat, I can't believe I've met you today. This was so much fun. Thank you for being here on Storymakers at Kid Lit TV. Thank you so much for having us. This. this is so much fun. It was such a joy. So remember, until next time, read a book in any format.